All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the Mafex uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Mafex 185 Classic Costume Version. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bummed out on this figure. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, 100% my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that I bummed out on this figure. 100%. There, there is no... This is not a Mafex fault that I'm bummed on this figure. This is all me. A little bit uh, on just... Uh, just it's, it's all me. I just I misunderstood. Um, so when they announced this figure, um, when it came up for pre-orders, I assumed... And I think I've said this before, but I assumed it was going to be this body. Um, the the body they used for the black suit and the Ben Riley Spider-Man. And it's not. Uh, it's just, it's not the same figure. Um, and that's what bums me out. Um... They're very similar with build quality, but the, it's just these ones are just better. Um, let me. I, I, it's hard without having it in hand. It's really, really hard to explain what I'm talking about. Um, for example, you know, shoulder joints on Black Suit and Ben Riley. It. Um, like they move so fluid forward and back. Um, like this one, just like look at that. I mean, it is it is just moves so smoothly. Uh, his not so much. It's a little bit more disjointed. Um, also, there's something weird going on with the legs. Uh, they're kind of like bowed out a little bit, and and I know it's the mold because. Like, so you kind of look at that and you kind of see that they're bowed out a little bit. Whereas, like, his are more straight on the money. And the black suit, straight on the money. It's a little bowed out there, but. And then you look at. Like the co comic book version one, and we got the boat out kind of look. Um, yeah, it's just yeah, like th this and this. It's just a reissue of the old Spider-Man mold. There's not no improvements made on this. Um, and had I known that that it was this Spider-Man, just the same exact Spider-Man. Uh, I probably would have passed on it. Um, uh, yeah, see, like, see how straight the leg goes, and whereas this one's bent. Um, and then his is still a little bent. It's a little straighter. Uh, it's, I don't know. I just, I was expecting something else uh, than what I got, really, I think. But, all in all, it's still a decent figure. Um, I just I just have plenty of Spider-Mans, so <laughs> it wasn't like I needed a new Spider-Man. But, I, I mean, I, I will gladly take it, um, still. Head is on the double ball peg, uh, so you get all the way up to there, down to there. Uh, side to side, all of that um, works fine. Butterfly joints uh, back to there, forward to there, uh, up to there, down to there, bicep swivel, double bend elbow, wrist swivels and hinges uh, whichever direction you need it to, um, the way that's designed. Ball jointed waist, ball jointed, or ball jointed torso, ball jointed waist, Hips, ball joints, so up to there, down to there, out to the side, thigh swivel, um, bends at the knee, um, and this is one of those where if you bend it wrong, it will get caught up in there. Um, t 
toe rocker tilt their foot rocker toe tilt all that good stuff so all of that works fine um You know, it, like I said, it's just it's an older Mayfex mold, and it goes back into the older Mayfex issues. So uh, he does come with the display base uh, with the extra stem now um, that they've been including with a lot of them. So you got the uh, the base, the stem, a straight stem if you want to have them straight up with these, and then you got the clamp that goes around his waist. Uh, yep, all of that is there. Uh, he also comes with this tray of web accessories. We've seen this a dozen times now. Um, so you get the, the, you know, long web, short web, web slinging web, the gripping web, little adapter piece there. Just gonna leave that in the package. Uh, you got two different head sculpts. You got the. Uh, you get this one and then you get this one so it just depends on your preference on which one you like better so uh, no Parker head uh, that was kind of a shocker not getting that one I was like huh really okay um, you get the out splayed hands you get the relaxed hands you got the magnetic hands, you got the web gripping hands, and the web spinning hands, as well as a set of the magnetic feet, which I usually put on because the feet are usually a little loose. Uh, like the regular feet seem to be looser than the magnetic ones. Um, they just kind of stick in better. So, I don't know is just a preference there. And that one's not going in very well. There we go. And then we can just put on say, some relaxed hands. like that and yeah every, everything about him works fine um i mean i think the legs are a little on the wonky side but all in all i think it looks good uh here he is with the cell shaded spidey uh <laughs> it's like almost instantaneously you can tell the mafex is a lot better than the marvel legends and i like that marvel legends once i just i really don't like the head sculpt on this one um here. Here's with the uh, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. You can also tell, like when you compare a Marvel Legends and say like a Mafex, you can. This is where you can tell like the hands are super big on Marvel Legends. Like they're wonky, goofy big, and the feet are like clown shoes. Um, it's like look how much different these are from each other and they're the same scale figure so it's not like it should be you know they're yeah they're pretty much like head to head uh but like his hand here like <laughs> yeah it's just it's just funny when you put them together like that it's like oof oof so and then here he is with the um uh, Mafex spiders. Um, the problem is, is that Marvel Legends, because they have the big goofy feet, stand a little easier. And then the comic book one. 
like the comic book one, like he, he's just so frail, let's say. Like it, it's like they did improve some of the joints, it seems. Um, I will say that. Um, so I would say, all in all, it's a good figure. If you already have him, I would not recommend picking him up. It's I, I if he was a whole new sculpt, like say like the black suit Spider Man, um, then I would say yes, pick it up because this sculpt is superior. Uh, I'm starting to think that this is a, almost the same sculpt as him, but the, like the legs, they, they fixed the legs or something. Um, if you were like me and only had the comic cell shaded one, then I would go with this one because the cell shaded one is just. Eh. Like, my mind is cannibalized with KO parts, too, because it kept breaking on me. So, um, yeah. So, if you already have him, I don't think I'd recommend him. If you don't have him and you 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 want to add to your Spider-Man collection, then I would recommend picking him up. Uh, that would be... That would be my recommendations. All in all, I think it's, it's a decent figure... Uh, a little wonky bits with the legs and stuff uh, all in all uh, I do think it's good uh, I will give him a 7 out of 10 you know because you know, we are still talking about a $100 figure you know, and a $100 figure should be more like these two where it's like I've got nothing negative to say about them you know whereas this one is like hell you know he's close He's real close to being a great figure. You know, I, I shouldn't be saying that. I should be like, this guy just nailed it. You know, that's what I should be saying. So, so yeah. Uh, all in all, um, that's, I think that's all I got for him. Um, yeah, it's a recommend, but not like a must-go-buy. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent figure.